Hi, my name's Tony Knight, and I'm a dog listener. And what I'm here to do is to guide you in a quick and easy way to sorting out any potential problems you may have with one of the least demanding and yet most affectionate members of your family, which is your dog. And also, I want to congratulate you right now for taking the time out to listen in what is potentially one of the most stressful times of your life, moving house. I mean, how stressful can that be? I know, I did it not so long ago. If you're not worrying about the finances or the solicitors or transport issues, it's making sure your best crockery doesn't get broken. There are so many things to think about. Sure, moving home can be really stressful, but we've come up with some ways to make it easier. For instance, are you feeling guilty about how you're gonna fit in the regular dog walk while you're up to your eyes in boxes? We've got the simplest, guilt-free answer you could imagine. Or perhaps your dog is treating every potential buyer that comes to your door as a potential burglar and ruining all the hard work you're putting into making that right first impression. Well, we've got the answer to that too. And talking of making the right first impression, do you know how to avoid being labelled the new neighbours from hell because your dog barks non-stop or maybe even gets aggressive? We've got the answers and we can help you there too. This easy to listen to CD will give you the answers that you need to help you create a better relationship with your dog during this one of the most stressful times in your life, moving house. And it'll help for your future together as well. I'm here to help. And we're gonna look at moving home in three easy sections. Before the move, during the move, and after the move. I've packed in a lot of information here that you can listen to in the car, in the gym, or even while you're packing those boxes. I myself grew up surrounded by dogs, watching the work of the world-famous dog listener Jan Fennell, also known to me as Mum. For the last seven years, I have personally taken on the work Jan has started and developed it all over the world, helping thousands of owners everywhere to solve problem dog behaviour. My many experiences have given me a valuable insight into improving relations between humans and canines, and bridging that gap in our communication. OK, first things first, let's do something for you. What I'd like you to do right now is just take a big deep breath in and sigh on the way out. Now that's a really relaxing thing to do. Dogs and cats do it naturally. If you've seen your dog lay on his side and give a big breath and then sigh out and some people will think that means the dog's depressed, well far from it. Have you ever had a hard day and you finally sit down with that cup of tea and go, oh thank goodness that's over. It makes you feel better. Dogs pick up on our emotions. They pick up on our state of mind. Which is why sometimes dogs seem to ask the questions at the wrong time because it's when you're not feeling happy that a dog will start to challenge you. So if you're feeling relaxed, the dog picks up on that and feels relaxed too. I've even had it where sometimes before I've gone to see some people for a consultation, I've called them to let them know that I'm on my way, everything's fine, and they've said, the dog obviously knows you're coming, Tony, because it's already relaxed. And of course the reason it's relaxed is because the owners are feeling relaxed because they know help is on the way and it has that rub off effect on the dog. So if you want your dog to relax, you relax. So big breath and let's go.